Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at capillary action, and in this case, capillary action between two closely spaced glass plates. In between, we have a liquid, in this case water, and the capillary action will draw the water up to a particular height h above the level of the water that's outside the plates. The plates, the distance between the plates is d, and the contact angle between the water and the plate, let's assume it to be zero degrees. The length of the plate equal to L. So what's going to happen, and I'm looking for a pen here. Where did my pen go? Hmm, I'm missing my red pen. Oh well, we'll do it with this one. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a force pulling the liquid up. That's why the height of the liquid here is higher than it is outside the plates. And so what is that force equal to? Well, the force, by definition, the force is equal to the length of contact times what we call the surface tension of the water, H2O. For water, it's 72 dynes per centimeter. So the length of contact times the, the, surface, uh, the surface tension times the cosine of the angle between the water and the glass. Now in this case, the contact length is going to be twice the length of, well, the length of the plate on one side, the length of the plate on the other side, so it's being pulled on both sides. So in this case, that's going to be two times the length of each plate times the surface tension times the cosine of the angle. And of course, that force must equal to the weight of the water that's being drawn up. So then to get the weight of the water, that's equal to m times g, and m can be written as the density times the volume times g. Now how much volume is here? Well, it would be the area of the bottom, that would be d times l times h. So this is the density times d times l times h, and then g. So the volume here can be expressed in terms of this distance times this length, that's the area, times the height. And of course, when they're in equilibrium, we could then say that the force is equal to the weight. Or, since I have an h in the w, I'm going to turn that in, in the weight, I'm going to turn that around so we can say the weight is equal to the force. So let's put those two equations equal to each other. So we have the density times the distance times L times h times g is equal to 2 times L times the surface tension times the cosine of theta. Since we're looking for h, well first of all we can cancel the L. And then solving that for h, we can say that h is equal to, uh, that would be 2 times the surface tension times the cosine of the contact angle divided by what's left. The density times the distance, uh, we have h times g. And there's the equation to find the height of the water between the plates. Now, normally in this case, the angle is going to be zero, cosine of zero is going to be equal to one, but since we just want to have the general equation, let's leave the cosine of theta in there, and that's then the equation that we need to find the height of the water between the, way, between the plates that's being drawn up because of the surface tension of the water, and that is how it's done.